Hi there, my name is Timothy J. Gunderman and this is my media review for PSP 1206 Week 3. I did my review on Ayn Rand's book, The Fountainhead, written in 1943. Uh, it became very popular in the 40s and 50s due to its uh, core beliefs of individualism. The story revolves around Howard Rourke, the everyman, the hero's hero, and his love interest, Dominique Francone, the daughter of a well-known architect in New York City. They both know the big secret of individualism, and they have, but they are incomplete in, in themselves, and they have several obstacles to, to deal with and overcome before they can become complete people and then be together at the end of the story. The main bad guy in this is named uh, Ellsworth Moncton Tuohy. He's a, uh, a, a columnist for the, uh, the New York Banner, the main newspaper that sort of gives this great background to the, uh, to the story and how, and how things written can become policy without even being debated. Uh, how how pu public opinion can be turned against one person at the drop of a hat, and we see that all the time in our, uh, in our time. Moncton Tui is evil, and uh, near the end of the story, he basically confesses to one of the weaker characters in the story named Peter Keating, and uh, basically gives up all of the secrets and his desire for power. You've got him. He'll obey. He'll be glad to obey because he can't trust himself. He feels uncertain. He feels unclean. That's one way. Here's another. Kill man's sense of values. Kill his capacity to recognize greatness or to achieve it. Great men can't be ruled. We don't want any great men. Don't deny the conception of greatness. Destroy it from within. The great is the rare, the difficult, the exceptional. Set up standards of achievement open to all, to the least, to the most inept, and you stop the impetus to effort in all men, great or small. You stop all incentive to improvement, to excellence, to perfection. At the climax of the story, Howard Rourke blows up a, a an apartment complex that he designed but is being built with different facades and, and ornaments, ornamentation. This is his work that he demanded that be built in a certain way. So uh, his only course of action is to destroy it. It was his he destroys it, and the uh, the story perpetuates into a courtroom drama. And Howard Rourke gives a an amazing speech at the end of this story, and it it really condenses the idea of individualism and a man's right to his own work. I came here to say that I do not recognize anyone's right to one minute of my life, nor to any part of my energy, nor to any achievement of mine, no matter who makes the claim. It had to be said. The world is perishing from an orgy of self-sacrificing. I came here to be heard in the name of every man of independence still left in the world. I wanted to state my terms. I do not care to work or live on any others. My terms are a man's right to exist for his own sake. This speech at the end of the story makes you sitting there wanting to be Howard Rourke, wanting to be the individual. We all aspire to it, but not very many of us really attain that, that kind of individualism, where we won't give in no matter what. Our principles will not let us give in. Now, the Fountainhead, I have to give five Giger baby bullets. It fulfills everything that you want in a novel like this. It teaches you things, and it exposes the evil that people fall under, that, that kind of collectivist uh, mentality where it, it brings down the soul and it, and, it, and it tears people apart to control them. I'd like to leave you with a quote from the story from Howard Rourke. It's very simple. My work done my way. Thank you very much for your time.